theory of conveyance, Paris, Paris theory of conveyance. I'm going to time myself too. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Toastmaster, I am extremely happy to be here. And today is my icebreaker, so I'm going to tell you something about myself. My name is Tessere Kaila Parikshit Reddy. It's the full name. And for, con <laughs> for your convenience, you can call me Parik. And uh, I was born in the land of karma. India, for those of you who don't already know, and uh, in the May of 1985. I'm happy to be in Dallas because it reminds me of the same weather I was born in. So uh, coming to the point of the icebreaker itself, I've spoken with everybody, and they almost know me except for the new people, the guests who are arriving today. I have to say that the ice has been broken <laughs> probably three weeks ago. and. Uh, the drinks are served, and I think now is the time to make the toast. And coming to the toast itself, the topic for today is going to be theory of conveyance. And uh, I came about it a couple of years ago, and I have to say, I came about it a little later than I should have. And what I was about to talk about you know, today is, uh, why are we here? And uh, what are we doing, really, you know, and how we look at things? And for me, I think life is great, and it actually fits perfect with the theme of the day, which is life is a journey. And uh, in my journey, I figured that this entire world is nothing but a production of the biggest budget movie that there ever will be. And it is a stage and a platform for us to express. We are all naturally expressive. That is a simple notion. That's why we are here. And that's why you made all the way in the traffic and sometimes even, you know, fighting with your friends to get here on time, right? And so, coming to the theory itself, you know, don't want to get technical, but I'm going to give you an introduction anyway, because it takes, you know, forever to go into the theory. But what it states is, the content of the message conveyed to the listener is a direct reflection of the content, intent, and compassion. These are the three ingredients of a good communication. So, what is a content? It's a simple example. I'm gonna take you to a real life example that I've actually been through, and it was a life lesson learned firsthand, right? Me and my buddy Dave, uh, he came to visit me from Philadelphia. You know, he just left his job and said, all right, you know what, let's have fun. We go into the same, you know, like clubs every night and, you know, trying to, you know, speak with people, so to speak. But, uh, <laughs> But we found ourselves in a moment of contention for the same person's attention. And uh, needless to say, it ended up in a senseless altercation. And it took me until the next day to actually find out the reason that it was simply because of lack of compassion. And I hope my evaluator doesn't find my rhyme to be a crime today. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, Coming back to the point itself, it is sometimes hard to say the fewest words that there are. And that's why we come here to talk about the theory of conveyance, because how can we make life better? Why is life great? And why is this world awesome? That is because we are given the stage. And you gotta understand, the entity, this single entity, the you, the I, the us, we are here simply for one reason, and which I believe is for us to do what it is that we're supposed to. And that can start with expression. And expressing yourself, do not stifle, do not stifle your ingenious expression, ladies and gentlemen. That is because when you're doing that, you are, you know, doing injustice to yourself. And why would you do that? I wouldn't. And that's why I come back to saying, you know, why do we have to be compassionate? I mean, what is compassion necessary, right? I mean. I've gone through the definitions and I don't, want, I don't want to give you a dictionary definition, but you know, it literally apparently translates to suffering together. You know? And when we are coming 
to this room when we're speaking, when we're communicating with each other, you realize that we are coming with the entire world that is ours. And we're talking to each other. I'm giving an example of, hey, how you doing? You know, we have to go do this. However, if you're not able to understand where I'm coming from, I have to give you the intent of why I'm saying what I'm saying. And that's bringing me to the intent itself. We got the content and now we got the intent. And coming to the compassion is to actually feel yourself as to where they're coming from. And that way they're actually open to listening to you. And when you're actually open to listening is when the communication actually happens. So if you can find some compassion and bring it to life, I think our life will be great and our world will be awesome. With those words, I would like to give the stage back to the Toastmaster. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it was an immense pleasure. I am happy, I am Paris, and I'm out. <laughs>